So one last Ethernet thing. We will call this Metro Ethernet. Metro Ethernet is a um, WAN service. And uh, we'll just say it's going to, you're going to get a LAN service when you get Metro Ethernet. It's a WAN service that forwards Ethernet frames. All right? What this means is if I have two sites, let's say I'm in Norfolk and I have two sites, so maybe I'm a bank here, and I have branch number one, and then I have headquarters, right? If I get Metro Ethernet, this becomes just another Ethernet connection for me. And I can connect this into my switch, and I can put a switch in over here. Okay? It is just Ethernet, and it's plug and play. I'll just put no configuration for me. So I'm the owner of this. I don't have to configure it. The carrier will make this run Ethernet. That is so awesome. That was why I was telling you back here with my modular switch, this would be the type of thing that you would run in a modular switch. Because the bank branch might use, you know, these 16 or 24 ports over here. And then over here I plug in their server and then I have another connection that goes to HQ using our carrier. So Verizon might have provided this. I'll put Verizon here. Any carrier will give you this, okay? So they'll give me Metro Ethernet. Now here's the even cooler thing about Metro Ethernet. Let's say I put in another site. So here's site number two. All I have to do is get another Metro Ethernet connection, okay? And what that means is that all the sites can connect to each other. Okay, so if I send a frame out here, this destination is number two. Verizon's Metro Ethernet actually treats this like a cloud. I should draw a cloud here, huh? I should have drawn a cloud in the first place, sorry. And Verizon will actually take this frame and pass it back where it needs to go. Okay? I don't have to do any other configuration. In a normal WAN, remember we talked about a WAN link? In a normal WAN link, I would have to get the frame here, usually as a packet, and then I would have to forward the packet back. And so I'd be using sort of, I don't know, double my little thing here. I'd have to receive it and send it. But here, if it's Metro Ethernet, Verizon will just kind of ship it on for you. That's awesome. Come on. If I have another one, it just becomes more. So I really just connect into the cloud. You guys remember, what, what was the term for this? What do I have to connect to? Pop. I love that name. Point of presence. Come on. So I just connect into the point of presence. And Verizon will pass stuff, you know, through their network to wherever I address it to. So if that needs to go back to number one, that's great. Okay. So Metro Ethernet is really fun and it's something the carrier might want to do for you.